Good morning, my dear students. Today I am going to discuss one question from calorimetry in physics. The question is: In an experiment on the specific heat of a metal a 0.20 kg block of the metal at 150 degrees Celsius is dropped. in a copper calorimeter of water equivalent 0.025 kg containing 150 cc that is cm cubed of water at 27 degrees celsius the final temperature is 40 degrees celsius compute the specific heat of the metal if heat losses to the surroundings are not negligible is your answer greater or smaller than the actual value of specific heat of the matter the solution is here we have been given the mass of metal equals to m that is equals to 0.20 kg and that is equals to 0.20 into 1000 g that is equals to 200.00 g that is equals to 200 g now fall in temperature of metal Equals to delta T. That is equals to initial temperature of the metal minus final temperature of the metal. That is equals to one hundred fifty degree fifty degree Celsius minus forty degree Celsius equals to one hundred ten degree Celsius. Now if See the specific heat of the metal. Then heat lost by the metal is equals to delta Q. That is equals to mass into specific heat into heat lost, and that is equals to m into c into delta T, and that is equals to two hundred. Into C into one hundred ten. This is the first equation. Now, volume of water equals to one hundred fifty cc. That is equals to one hundred fifty cm cubed. Since one cm cubed equals to one cc, that is equals to one gram. And therefore, mass of water equals to m complement. That is equals to one hundred fifty gram. Now, what is the equivalent of calorimeter? Is equals to W. That is equals to zero point zero two five kg, and that is equals to zero point zero two five into one thousand gram. That is equals to twenty five point zero zero. That is equals to twenty five gram. Now, rise in temperature of water and calorimeter is equals to delta T complement. That is equal to final temperature of the calorimeter minus initial temperature of water. That is equal to forty minus twenty-seven. That is equal to thirteen degrees Celsius. Now, heat gained by water and calorimeter is equal to delta Q complement. That is equal to M complement plus W into Delta T complement that is equals to one hundred fifty plus twenty five into thirteen. That is equals to one hundred seventy five into thirteen. This is the second equation. Now, from the principle of calorimetry, we know that heat lost by the device is equals to heat gained by the equipment. So, delta Q is equals to Delta Q complement 
show from equation 1 and equation 2 we have 200 into C into 1 under 10 that is equals to 175 into 30 and therefore C is equals to 175 into 13 by 200 into 1 under 10 25 7 is 175 and 25 8 is 200 so that is equals to 7 into 13 by 8 into 1 under 10 that is equals to 13 7 is 91 by 880 and that is equals to 0 0.1 so, if some heat is lost, the surroundings value of C, a specific heat so obtained, will be less than the actual value of C. Thank you. If you like, please share and subscribe.